Hey YouTubers, um, today is April 22nd, 2011, and it is 6 8 p.m. in Cambodia. Um, I just got back, went to Angkor Wat, like I said in my last video. Um, was there for three days, just went back like an hour ago. Um, it's a pretty long drive, three, four hours, four hours, I think. Um, in a place called Siem Reap. I can say that anyone who's curious, Siem Reap is like America to me. Um, it's hot over there, but it doesn't feel sticky and muggy like it is over here in Matamang. Like the air is more fresher over there, even though there's tons and tons of cars, just as much as over here. Um, but um, Tourist wise, I think it's more fun over there. Um, I saw a lot of um, people from the states and other countries um, touring there, versus I rarely see anybody touring over here. Like, like I see like one or two, but over there is like they are everywhere, including myself. Um, it's I call it like the, the New York City of Cambodia or San Francisco. It's pretty busy. Um, it's more green, um, lots of more eye-catching places to see, lots of shops, um, in every corner, like more Americanized, I guess. I saw a Thai restaurant, I saw an Indian restaurant, um, I saw a French restaurant. Here I haven't seen any, like one. Um, and I've also taken tons of pictures, which you will see as well. And, um, I got darker, even darker, coming from there and back here. Um, it was hot, but I could breathe, and it was so nice to stay in a, a regular, decent hotel with air conditioning and a regular shower, bathtub type thing. Yeah, felt like home. <laughs> um, so I went to Angkor Wat. The whole time I was there, I didn't realize I was at Angkor Wat. Because everyone keeps saying, um, Uncle Tom and Uncle Do, I don't know, and I didn't hear Uncle What, so I was like, okay, I'll take a few pictures, I'll wait till I get to Uncle What and take lots of pictures. I kind of did take lots of pictures, but the feel of not knowing that I was Uncle What that this whole time was like, oh. Uh. But yeah, I took lots of pictures, and I would have been really sad if I didn't take a picture in front of it, like, in every picture you've seen growing up, it's like three towers. That's like the main thing that people picture and go what as. I got tons of pictures in front of them. It was beautiful. But I guess growing up and watching it on television, watching History Channel, and they make it seem like it's this most extravagant thing in the world, which it is, but to me, I thought be bigger than that, I thought it would be in awe, but I don't know, I saw it, I was like, oh, that's it, it's really small, it's not big, I thought it was really mungo and like, so many temples and castles and type thing, I don't know, but I saw it, so I was like, okay, maybe I'm just not appreciating my culture as much, <laughs> but yeah, I stepped in a gold what I can say I'm proud and I feel blessed. And um, speaking of blessed, I finally got another um, string. It's something you get in the temple from a monk or from um, any Buddhist temple. Um, I'm not sure if other Asian countries do the same thing, but Cambodian, you see them wear a lot of this. Um, I'm sure you've seen other people wearing this, but if you're Cambodian, you have either a red color, yellow, orange, it's from the temple and be blessed the string anywhere and wherever you go, you're always gonna have good luck. I know bad things happen to you. So yeah, I had one and wore it for like three, four years and it finally fell somewhere, I don't know where. And I feel like empty without it, so yay, got it. Um, and then today there's so many temples and so many names. I don't even know the names, but it's amazing how it was built. No one would know how these people did it because 
some of it is like super, super high and it's like, how the hell they climb up? I know the ladder, but it's amazing. Um, I don't know much history about it, but there's a lot of history there and wonder what life was like back then. Like, it's amazing and they work hard for the king and queen of their, during that time. It's, wow. Um, yeah, um, what else? I fed monkeys too. Um, little monkeys. I was kind of scared, but not scared. And I handed them a papaya and they took it like a person. They're so adorable. And one of them hit me and I ran. I got kind of scared. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'll be vlogging anymore. I probably will. Um, one more before I have to end back to the States. And I feel kind of moody off and on. And my cousin can't tell and I can't help it. And I'm sorry. It's just in Cambodia. Everyone's like so touchy touchy and all up in your bubble and your face and they don't seem to understand that I can't breathe and that um, I get little panic attacks and it's annoying but I don't know how to tell them. All well, my cousins who I'm close with understand. That's why she doesn't get too close to me or grab me and stuff. But everyone else is like, hey, come on, come on, grab me. And it's like, they keep asking me, is it fun? Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Like, yes, it's fun. It's normal to me. But I can't blame them. But happening is like I can't hold my anger in. I'm annoyed. If I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed inside. But yeah, if you have family in Cambodia, you know how it is. It's so touchy, touchy. It's pulling your arm and grabbing. Everyone wants to hold your arm. And they're so overprotective. And it's annoying to me. I know they're, they're trying to move well. And they just want me to see it. But it's like, I need my bubble. I need my bubble. But they don't understand. But um, I got some Cambodian tinctures. This is the alphabet, if you can see. And I got two more just in the laundry. And I bought two more today. One for my friend and another one for me. Another one for me. It's a good thing. It's probably like $2 or something. With American money, I don't know. Cambodian money, it's confusing. I don't know how I'm going to survive here. Maybe I got used to it if I used to live here. But this is what Uncle What looks like. Those who don't know. This is the back of the t shirt. This is Uncle What Cambodian. I don't know what that is. I think it's in French. And then the Cambodia. But yeah, the way it looks, it looks like gorgeous. But when you're there, it's like, oh. <laughs> This is the front. This is where it's located in a town called Siem Reap. And then I got another one in a darker color. There. Yeah. So, I'm so anxious to know how much I weigh. Like, I feel fat. Like, my belly is bulging out, but my clothes are fine. And I think I look fine in this camera. I don't know. I know I ate a lot. Yeah, I miss home on this internet. I missed my real home. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. But yeah. Until then, peace.